Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at why a whole city lives in one building. Are you an introvert? If so, I'm sure you wish you could live, go to school, and go shopping all in the same building. Well, if you live in the town of Whittier, Alaska, you can do that. That's because in this amazing city, everyone in town lives in one building. Today we're going to look at what Whittier is, how to get there, why everyone lives under one roof, and the difficulties of living in this way. But before we head off, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. So where and what is Whittier? Well, Whittier is actually a city located in the US state of Alaska, and the population is only 214 people. So it's not exactly a big place, but everyone in town lives in the same building. The building everyone lives in is called Baish Towers. This is a 14-story building completed in 1957 after WW2. Inside there are 150 apartments with two to three bedrooms. There's even a school inside this building. And even a safety tunnel under the building in case any of the residents want to hide out in the event of an apocalypse. The building looks pretty Soviet, but inside it's fairly modern. Inside, as well as the school and apartments, is a police station, a grocery store, a medical clinic, a small convenience store, and even a church. And it even has its own hotel, but we'll get to that later. So, for any introverts watching who dislike going outside, this is probably paradise for you. Many of the residents of Whittier, Alaska actually don't leave the building for weeks on end. After all, they have literally anything they could ever need right in the building. And Whittier is actually isolated from the rest of Alaska and the world. This means that they have to live off their own resources and they can't really go anywhere because there's nowhere to go. The closest place of note is Anchorage, Alaska, which is nearly 60 miles away. Most of the time, the children either play in the inside playground in the building, or they go out and fish, as that is the main business of the city. There are no buses or trains in this city, and if you want to get around, a boat is the best bet, not a car. But how exactly do you get to this very isolated city? Well, the first thing you see when you approach Whittier is a 2.5 mile tunnel you have to pass through. There's only one lane, and you have to switch direction of travel every 30 minutes. There are also many sets of traffic lights, which seem kind of pointless, seeing as the roads are almost always empty. Driving there is not only time consuming and claustrophobic in the tunnel, it can be dangerous too. Whittier can get very, very severe weather conditions. In the winter, there is heavy, heavy snow. And most of the time, all of the roads are closed due to the snow. And in the summer, it can be very, very rainy, meaning you can slide around on the road and even crash. So if you want to enter Whittier, your best bet is actually to get a boat. After all, that is how most of the locals get around. But you're probably asking, why does a whole city live in just one building? We've all been to small towns and villages before, but most of the time everyone's got their own home. Well, the main reason everyone lives in the same building is because of what I mentioned before, the weather. In the winter, the snow can be around 25 feet. That's almost 8 meters of snow. Not only that, the wind can go up to 70 miles an hour sometimes. This means you won't be able to get too far outside of your house anyway. The winters here are actually so bad it scares bears away. Alaska is famous for bears, but not in Whittier as their weather conditions are so severe. Another reason why the whole city lives under one roof is because of why the building was made in the first place. It actually wasn't first made as an apartment building. The city of Whittier was actually built as a defense facility for the USA. This is also why it's surrounded by mountains and so isolated from the rest of the world. The only way to get to Whittier at the time was by the sea. So that's why the 2.5 mile tunnel you need to go through to enter Whittier was built. The military base they built was called Buckner Building. This building is now abandoned and very, very creepy. And nearby to Buckner Building was Hodge Building. This was a barracks to hold all of the soldiers stationed in Whittier. But it was later renamed to Beige Towers. The name was changed to honor a congressman from Alaska who went down in a Cessna plane. So that's why the whole city lives there and everything is under one roof. But if you think this is some kind of paradise, then you are mistaken. Along with everything I've just said, there are many difficulties about living in Whittier. One difficulty is actually leaving and entering for residence. A trip through the tunnel would cost you $15. That's why any residents usually buy an annual pass, so they literally need to pay to leave their own city. 
Also at night, the tunnel is closed, so if you ever want to leave the city, you better make sure it's in the day. Also, if you're an introvert and you think this is the perfect place, then you're mistaken. Whittier is a very, very sociable town and everyone knows each other inside the building. It's like living in an apartment block, but there's no one else in the entire city. So you'd better hope you get along with everyone in the city, as you all live in the same building. Yikes, I can imagine breakups being pretty awkward. Also, if your kid's having trouble with his homework, he can just knock on his teacher's door. Or if there's an issue in the building, which there nearly never is, you can just knock on a policeman's door. Everyone is very friendly and goes into each other's apartments all the time if they're on friendly terms. It's kind of like one big sitcom, you never know who you may run into. So, this place is very quirky, if not cool, so you're probably wondering, can I go there? Well, the answer is yes, tourism is actually pretty big in Whittier. Naturally, in the winter, with the snow, the tourists do not go here. But Whittier is also known for amazing nature, and that's what attracts a lot of tourism in the summer. In the summer, the worst weather is rain, which isn't too bad. And surrounding Whittier is forests, waterfalls, glaciers, and mountains. After all, it is an isolated city. Also, many cruises like to stop off in Whittier as it's such a quirky town. Inside the building, there's also some touristy shops, which only open in the summer. Also, Whittier being a fishing hotspot attracts a lot of guys who love to fish. Inside the building is a small hotel visitors stay in. But the rooms get booked up months in advance, so call now. You can also dine in the building at one of their restaurants, for example, the Chinese buffet. Also, remember how I said the building had 150 rooms? Well, around 50 of those are empty right now, meaning visitors can stay in them. That's right, you can get your very own home in Whittier if you wish to do so. Some people who live in larger cities like Anchorage will buy a vacation apartment in Whittier. And the apartments are pretty cheap. In fact, you can get one for under $50,000. You know what? I think I know where I'm going to go for my next vacation. Vote in the poll in the top right corner and you can tell me whether you would travel to Whittier or not. And if you'd like to live there, then comment down below telling me why. If you guys want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.